Lead reports specifically indicate that Emmanuel Macron allegedly tried to bribe General Abdurahman Tkiani with a substantial amount of 60 billion CFA France. This is roughly equivalent to 100 million US dollars in an attempt to persuade him to abandon his stance after the military coup on July 26, 2023. This revelation came to surface through a local news outlet named Le Monde d'Ajertoui. It is a very common established fact that money can influence several African leaders and General Tkiani was believed to be no exception. These leaders are often willing to fearlessly compromise their country's futures for financial gain without any second thoughts, while powerful leaders like France exploit their vulnerabilities. Although a hundred million may seem to be very significantly, it pales to the valuable resources some of which include uranium gold and oil that France has particularly extracted from African countries like Niger for years. Macron's offer to General Tatiani may be inconsequential, especially considering the fact that the general likely does not have any foreign bank accounts. This is why the non-stop growing call to abolish the CFA France as France can essentially provide as much money as needed to influence African leaders. It's not surprising then, that there is a lack of genuine opposition in Francophone countries, with opposition groups often funded by the French government seeking tirelessly to control Africa resources. As the saying goes, the greatest need of the world is for individuals who cannot be bought or sold, individuals who are true to themselves and very one, unafraid to denounce all wrongdoing and whose conscience is as steadfast as the needle to the pole. General Tkiani's steadfast commitment to his country Niger will never be forgotten and esteemed. France has recognized that its colonial presence in Africa is no longer sustainable. However despite pressure from the European Union and the United States to resist further territorial losses, France may be very much compelled to release its grip on Niger. Loosing Niger could mean abandoning the entire Sahel region to Russia, resulting to a failure of any access to affordable energy sources and several other valuable resources including uranium and the, the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline line. In a recent television interview, General Abdurahman Tkiani very well highlighted the severe damages Niger suffered from ECOWAS sanctions in August 2023. He also mentioned that an EU leader suggested negotiations with Niger. But Emmanuel Macron opposed, asserting that Niger belongs to France. In this statement the general expressed his belief that any country respecting Niger's sovereignty and independence can have a relationship and a cooperation with bigger, provided this relationship is founded on mutual respect. He condemned the French authorities for trying so hard to enforce their preferences on Niger, overlooking Niger's autonomy. Additionally the general narrates an event that purportedly transpired in August 2023 during heightened tensions between France and Niger. According to the general, an EU member had suggested a resolution to the crisis which happened through a video conference with other EU states. The recommendation was supposedly to engage in a negotiation state with Niger instead of adopting an adversarial approach towards the newly established authorities. However, upon learning of the proposal, President Macron allegedly retorted that Niger belongs to France. Macron also asserted that it is not the place of other countries to put forth any solutions. General Tkiani further claimed that this statement by Macron, demonstrates how ignorant he is of history as he has no idea that Niger or the territory that is now Niger. By the time of the French Revolution, Niger had already established itself as a polity with its own social organization by the time of the French Revolution. The general suggests that if the country involved in the proposed video conference confirms his account of the incident, it will prove Macron's statement. In an interview with national television, General Tkiani mentioned that any country that respects Niger's sovereignty and independence should engage in a relationship and cooperation based on mutual respect, contrary to what the French are trying to impose. In August 2023, during a tense period, a country of the European Union proposed a crisis exit through a video conference with member countries, suggesting that the new authorities in Niger engage in negotiations instead of maintaining a conflicting position. President Macron's response reportedly included the statement that Niger does not belong to that country, but rather to France, and that it is not up to them to propose any solution. General Tkiani calls on the country involved in the video conference to confirm his account. 
He emphasizes that Niger does not belong to that country but to France, according to Macron's assertion. He criticizes Macron's ignorance of history, as Niger had already completed its own journey and experienced various social and political organizations before the French Revolution. The general highlights that Niger is not the property of anyone and invites those who have a genuine interest in defending Niger to negotiate with mutual dignity. He expresses confidence in the new Niger, an alliance of Sahel states that understands the challenges and the path forward with the support of the people. General Tkiani vows not to betray his country and expresses gratitude for the support. In conclusion, your feedback on the matter is appreciated. Please kindly subscribe to our channel, like, and share our content. Thank you for watching.